way early in free agency. Way early. I like some of the moves that's being made. I like what the Eagles are doing. Then again, the Eagles are always loaded. Always. Patrick Mahomes, he's going to free up money. He's going to restructure his contract, which is nothing more than them guaranteeing more money on his contract, freeing up money to sign Chris Jones and Ladarius Sneed, who's being franchised. As it stands, Ladarius Sneed will make $19.8 million on the franchise tag, but he wants a long-term deal. And if they can't get a long-term deal, he wants to be traded. He's like, hopefully I can stay in Kansas City. Look, most guys don't want to play in a one-year deal. When you're all pro, you want a long-term deal. You want a big signing bonus. You want a bunch of guaranteed money. Playing on a $19.8 million salary is good for one year. But you want to secure your future. You want a long-term deal. And you want 50, 60, 70 million dollars in guaranteed money. So if something happens like an injury, you're straight regardless. Now, to regular working people, they're like, look, 19.8 million dollars is a good deal. Well, we're talking about NFL players. Their shelf life is not long. So when they excel at their field, at their position, and they can cash in, they want a long term deal with a bunch of guaranteed money. So with Patrick Mahomes restructuring his deal, maybe they can get a deal done, a long-term deal done with Latarius Steed. Now I want to talk about the Baltimore Ravens. Like they don't have any excuses. We can't keep making excuses for Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. We can't. Now you're adding Derrick Henry on a two-year $16 million deal. Now, on the offense, you got Lamar Jackson, the MVP. You're going to have Mark Andrews back, all pro tight end. You got a merger wide receiver, and Zay Flowers. Now, he had something with some court case uh, that was bogus, so he'll be back in second year. He had a great rookie season. You got Rashad Bateman. He's a good young wide receiver. So, and now you got Derrick Henry. You really have no excuses. We can't keep making excuses for Lamar Jackson. Now, people that's watching, they're going to say, well, come on to Sportsnet. Other teams are getting better, too. But when you got a two time MVP at quarterback, you got wide receivers, you got a tight end, you got a future Hall of Fame running back. And you got a great defense. There's really no excuses. We can't keep making excuses for Lamar Jackson. We all know he wets the bed in the playoffs. He does. I've never seen him pass for 300 yards and maybe run for 200 yards. He's going to need that kind of game in the playoffs for them to move to the next round. And the thing with Lamar Jackson, when he gets to the playoffs, they don't never really advance. They're usually, what, one and done? Or they might win a division game and then they, they lose? So, with the firepower that the Baltimore Ravens have, I don't want to hear no more excuses coming out of Baltimore. None. They're straight up loaded. They should be the Super Bowl favorites. You got King Henry, and you got him for two years and $16 million. To me, that's a steal. He's a cat that gets better as the game goes on. You don't want to tackle him in the fourth quarter. He's durable, plays most of He don't miss a lot of games. He just don't. So we can't make any excuses for the Ravens. And I know other teams are getting better. I know that. Eagles getting better. Kansas City going to be tough. Cleveland probably going to be better. The Steelers are going to be better with Russell Wilson. But you look at 
the Ravens roster? Nah, from top to bottom, they, they ready. And they got the best field goal kick kicker in football. Justin Tucker is the best field goal kicker in the NFL. Has been for a few years now. So there's no more excuses for the Ravens. Now, I know injuries happen during the season. Like during last season, Mark Andrews got hurt. That hurt Lamar Jackson and the Ravens offense in the playoffs. I do understand that. But nah, nah, there's no excuses. None at all. They should at least make the AFC Championship game. At least the AFC Championship game. And I understand Patrick Mahomes. I know he's out there. I know the future gold is out there. They're going to be tough to beat, but the Ravens have no excuses. None at all. We can't keep making excuses for the Ravens. We just can't. They ain't going to get it done in 2024-25. When are they going get, to get to the Super Bowl? When? The regular season means nothing in Baltimore. The Ravens could always run the ball. They could always run the ball. They'll get they'll draft another wide receiver. They get Mitchell back. But yeah, there's no excuses. I know you gotta beat Kansas City Chiefs. I know you gotta beat Goliath. But there's no excuses in Baltimore.